It turned out better this time, I think. I think there's something, at, like, at first it seemed like a, a missed detail, but I think there's something very deliberate and uh, unnerving on purpose about how every time you transition time, uh, other things in the room move, but Aliena's standing exactly where you left her last time you were controlling her before the time jump. It's like everything's moving and shifting her around her as she stays completely still. It's, it's supposed to feel... Like she's trapped as a result. I'm is she pregnant? I think I see a slight shape in the different cut shades of blue. I'm not sure. We used to talk about business. Now everything's about Jack and Alfred. How degrading. Well, we've got we got food for Martha. Thank you. I'd never thought that my brother could work so hard. He really cares about Kingsbridge. I would never have thought, really. Alfred has changed. He used to be such a bully. He seems really concerned about things now. About Kingsbridge, about you, about your family. I can't wait for you to give me a little nephew or niece. Well, enough about Alfred. Did you get the blue dye I've been asking for? Actually, I did. It's from a woad merchant in Winchester. It took me some time to find him. Oh, thank you so much, Martha. I guess now I finally have to finish my weaving. How's it going? I'm taking my time. I'm not in a rush. What does Sir Richard think of the idea? I haven't told him yet. When he comes here, he's mostly interested in coin. But that's the deal. He fights and I pay. It's an endless circle. The coat of arms shall remind us of who we are and where we come from, so we don't end up losing purpose. Have you decided on an animal yet? You really should have an animal on it. You have to choose the animal. A ferocious tank of a, of a creature. The proud lion. Honorable or elegant fierce eagle. I don't even know what to call eagles. After all the shit we we're going through, of course we we're gonna do a fox. It will sport a fox. Oh, foxes are smart. I like that. Ali, I'm so sorry that I mentioned wanting a niece. I just thought in the last month that you were well growing a bit? Oh, I'm just getting fat. You're not getting fat? You forget that there's not a lot for me to do other than sit around and eat. Then we should take a hike soon. Stretch your legs and get some sunshine. I'd like that. I would like that a lot. But not today. I need to finish the coat of arms first. Get it done while I still can. She's not getting fat, is she? Oh no, it's Jack's baby. And she hasn't told Alfred, and they haven't had sex, so it can't be his. And so she's gonna, it's gonna be super obvious. Especially when it comes out as a redhead. Oh, she's, she's just thinking and not saying, so uh, your choices were I can't have Jack's baby or I am pregnant. 
Is there going to be another abandoned child like that's going to continue to loop? I had to marry to fulfill my oath. Alfred's trying his best. All I do is bicker. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. I had to marry Alfred to fulfill my oath. I wish that Jack would have understood. Love alone could never stop William Hamley. Only money and influence. With Alfred as a husband, I can fulfill my father's last wish. And ever since we've been married, he's been working deep into the nights to finish the cathedral. And when he's home, he expects nothing in return. Although I can see so much longing in his eyes. He is trying his best to make our arrangement work. While all I do is bicker. I did what I had to do when I married him. But what I didn't know back then was that... I am pregnant with your grandchild. You brought this on yourself. You had the love of your life, but you threw it away. Son of a bitch, they make you pick all of those dialogue choices, thinking it might be her internal monologue, and then they pull back to show that Ellen's there for whatever responses you chose. Great. Do you scorn me for what I did? No more than anyone else. First and foremost, I blame that priest who turned my son into a monk. But you're a very close second. What if I brought Jack back? Oh, Aliena. <sighs> Jack has left England. There's no possible way to find out where he went. I want you to know one thing. Jack loved you. For me, that makes you still family. If you can't have his baby, give it to me. I will raise it far away from this crooked world that had no room for my son. I don't want to give our child away. Then you cannot stay here. You cannot go on like this. But I have to. Don't you understand? What the hell is what the hell's Alfred's rea reaction to all this? Finished. I want you to wear it when you go to battle. To remind us of what we are fighting for. Huh. Why a fox? Underdogs or the stealth and cunning? A fox is stealthy and cunning. We can't always be straightforward and noble if we want to survive in this wilderness. You hear that, Alfred? I'm a fox! <laughs> Grow up, Richard. This is important. Sorry. How's the war going, by the way? How is your standing with the king? It's getting better and better. The good thing is, William Hamley is turning out to be quite the lousy player. In our last battle, he ran away when things started to get a bit tight. They say he was afraid to die before he settled matters with his mother. His mother? No one's seen her in years, not since her husband died. But rumor has it she's still alive and joyfully pulling his strings. Mention her to William and he goes as pale as a sheep. 
Ali, we are so close, but we need to be careful. We mustn't let our guard down. Is there anything you need from me, Richard? Well, a new saddle would be nice. I'll see to it. And a horse to put it on, of course. The last one caught quite a few arrows. Right. I'll be out for a while. I've got some business at the market with Martha. All right. It's the dynamic got weirder. <laughs> it was already weird when it's like you're playing the sister that has to keep buying like weird expensive war equipment for your 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 brother that goes off to the war and everything, but now now she's the sister that now it's the now you have a, a husband and you're carrying a different man's child while your husband is paying for your brother to go to war so that you can get your power back so that you can then uh, do they even did they have divorce back then? I don't know if they had divorce back then. I think they might, I think she's I think they might be stuck with each other and then unless some of them dies one of them dies or something. And then like you have the issue of like you're you're getting pregnant and that's like a thing you can't just hide and do secretly. So like you're, so you're talking about the idea of giving Alan the baby, but like you're clearly pregnant and that's the thing that has to be addressed at some point. Alianna's coat of arms. Alianna's design for a coat of arms serves as an emblem for her family, meant to be worn on a shield, surcoat, tabard, or flag, and carried into battle. Each element of a coat of arms is meant to provide unique insight into the history and ideals of the carrier, which is why Alianna chose a fox. They're smart and will always find a solution. She has to think that at this point, or what is any of it for? Yeah, she's very pregnant. It's finally done. Why did it ever take so long? Now I need to find something new. He's doing well. We all are. Who would have thought? No. I won't brood about him. Not today. Jesus! Poor Alfred! <laughs> We never slept with each other. Alfred gave up a long time ago. Oh my god. How much I miss having my own business. Surely Alfred must know that he's just being explicitly just used at this point, right? I can't believe you two have almost done it. You've almost won your father's earldom back. Oh, don't say that until it's actually happened. I'll see you later in the evening. Ah, there you are. I always wondered what it would have been like to grow up in a forest. Oh, it's cold. Very, very cold. When I was young, I spent a night in Ellen's cave. If it hadn't been for her soup, I would have died for sure. Enjoy the moment the game commands explicitly. <laughs> getting warmer again, so soon the sheep won't need their wool anymore. Time to get back into business? She's sounding all proactive, which is so unlike her lately. The landing site is for logs and rocks. Maybe we could use it for, to ship wares, too. It would help revive the market. The one we can't have. They say more towns are growing out there. Sounds like Kingsbridge. Maybe one day I'll travel again. That's where Ellen and Jack came from. Can't imagine a life like that. But then... One I couldn't imagine this life either. Or once I couldn't imagine this life either. Ever since Alfred talked to Philip, they've been working hard. It's almost finished now. I thought this entire game was going to have a framing device of just being Tom building his cathedral while all these crazy things of politics and dis and intrigue all happen around him and he didn't even survive the second part of the, of the game. There she is. Cheerful as a bell, as always. What kind of soup? I think it had deer in it. Deer? Yes. Jack had caught it before we met him. I think it was
was the only one he ever caught. But hunting deer is... I know. It's punishable by death. Jack never was one for rules and laws. <laughs> right. He was always busy with something, just not with what Tom asked him to do. Jack? Yes. Yes, he was. You will be an aunt soon. What? But don't tell Alfred. I haven't told him yet. You still think marrying him was a mistake? I do. I do too. But you did it for very good reasons. So, maybe it wasn't a mistake after all. Maybe it will work. Not in a loving way, but more like a partnership. You two seeing eye to eye to each other. Mm, maybe. Uh, but the baby is not... What was that? They built it too fast. Like the Babylonians, they sought to be grander than God, and for this we all have to suffer. It was the stone roof. He started building a stone roof. If Papa had still been alive, he would have stopped him. You're with child. H how, how can you be with child if we never... My cub is gone and will never return. You threw it all away for a life of lies and a kingdom of dust. Without a cathedral, my mother will spend an eternity in hell. And by God, I hope you won't suffer the same fate for this. I can't stay. Not without work. And not like this. I'm sorry. Shh. That's why it was black and white. They were fading back with the right hair color. There, there. We've been crying for far too long now. Ah. Where do we go from here? God damn. So this entire episode was building up a ser- not the, the book. I just don't want to call it a book. It feels better to call it episodes, part two, whatever. As it was slowly building up a whole bunch of things that were all going to come crashing down all at once. And then the epilogue or final chapter is rapid fire doing it again. Like, here's seven, here's seven potential problems. Let's time skip a few more times. Guess what? All those potential problems, they all, okay, all came crashing down exactly how you thought they might. Uh, so it appeared that we we're just in an empty house. Everything seems just dead around us. I assume Alfred just up and left us after finding out about Jack's baby. Now we have Jack's baby, and uh, seems we've been keeping it. Seems to have not made its way over to Ellen at all. And the roof collapsed, because their plan to build faster completely failed. We were all talking about like whether or not we could... You know, you'll notice that they didn't give me options, generally, this chapter. We're not really... We're kind of not really playing a game, we're kind of just watching a story play out, which is... A little bit of a bummer, because that's the trap that the Telltale games fall into, is that at some point they just stopped being video games, which is a bummer. Uh, we'll see if it picks back up again next, ep next episode, because I think we're probably close to done here. But they gave us the option about the worksman, workman comps thing, which didn't matter because we didn't have money anyway, so it was irrelevant. But we didn't get any input on the whole roof thing, which we got heavily reinforced at the beginning of the game that do not build... Do not build a stone roof. This cathedral's walls were designed for a wooden roof. They cannot support a stone roof. And they went and did it. And they didn't remember, and Tom couldn't stop him, and Jack wasn't here to remind him not to do it, because Jack understood that better than... Jack always understood that better than Alfred. It's the one thing that was set up at the beginning of the, of the storyline. And now we're boned. 
It's in shambles, with no money to rebuild it. Is this church ever gonna get done now? It's all gone. No more wool either. Do people even live here anymore? It sounds like... Like Albert probably... Alfred Alfred probably, wanna, probably left for work. Is anyone still here anymore? So her next plan, she had a whole plan before, and it l worked for like five years, and then it fell apart when William ripped it apart. And then her next hasty plan was just to jump straight to Alfred. Next obvious plan, go for it. And it went just as poorly. The house is all mine again. Alfred left Kingsbridge for good. Shit. It died down. It's been cold for hours. Really should get going. We're just gonna up and leave? I guess there's- I guess the town's probably dead, right? If the work's gone? Is this the end- is- like, it's called Pillars of the Earth. I assume that the whole game- isn't the whole game named after the concept of building, like, a cathedral? But now the builder is dead, and his son, the, who became the next master builder, is gone. The project has failed. Our funding is gone. Everyone has lost hope. And now she's just continually trapping herself with one plan after a nec the next that isn't panning out at all. We will build a cathedral right here, towering high above Shiring. But it will not be a cheap undertaking. Money is no object. I shall build it for our Lord and my mother. So that the Lord will heal her. I am sure he will. Ah, yes, there he is. Who? We will need a master builder. My bishop, I think I have the right man. My bishop, my name is Alfred Builder. Wow. <laughs> Everything fell apart. There's like nothing left at this point. Every character that even is alive that we have controlled or care about has like lost all drive to continue. Philip, like, I wouldn't even be surprised if we just never saw Philip again after how defeated he is and how he's just resigned to seclusion. The entire next book might even just be Jack and 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 Aliena, and that's it potentially. Ah, and here here I was thinking like, look, we're redeeming Alfred. Look 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 how that's going. And then Alfred's project fails, and he ruins everyone. Granted, he was also kind of trapped, and now he turns to the dark side, working for the Hamleys. Great. He technically hasn't done horrible things yet, but he literally just switched to the group that killed his father? Like, does he understand that William Hamley killed his father? Is that the thing he knows? Is that his plan? Is he so... Is he Has he given up on the building thing? And he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's take revenge on William somehow. And that's all I'm going for anymore. Because that'd be nice. Maybe we'll continue this redemption arc for Alfred next book. Or maybe he'll just be... The incompetent builder that the bad guy uses, and that's the end of his story, which is would be very disappointing. I mean, the way the th his the promises he's planning on making for the workers, like he seemed to be like going in a good direction, and everyone acknowledged that. Even Al eventually, even Aliena had to begrudgingly, and that says a lot because she was not happy. Well, now we know why it's called Chapter Fourteen: Departure. Because when it said chapter 14 departures, that was almost like a bit of a 
a bit spoilery considering it was the beginning of the chapter about a long pregnancy and, and marriage. But it's over now. What you did. You were harsh when you broke up with Jash with Jack. You do not believe God exists. You chose a fox as your coat of arms. You support Alfred's idea to, to ensure the workers. In your marriage with Alfred, you grew desperate. You left Kingsbridge for good. And you finished book two. Next time on The Pillars of the Earth. Witness the climactic final part of the series. It's time we take back what was taken from us. It's time to face our enemies. It is time to make a stand for what we believe in. The Pillars of the Earth, Book 3, The Eye of the Storm. Oh, we're looking for another big time jump, aren't we? I'm pretty sure Aliana had, uh... I'm pretty sure Aliana had great streaks in her hair, and definitely, uh... Philip looked old. Jack's mother definitely looked significantly older, too. So it's gonna be like a lifetime thing, like people go from being children to being middle-aged over the course of this one single storyline of just being plagued by the Hamleys. Oh, fuck. That adds so much gravity to it, doesn't it? Because like in so many other storylines, it'll be like, oh, that guy's a dick in this action movie that takes place over the course of four days or something. But this is like, here's a villain that just continually ruins your life for decades. Like, even when you win, you lost, because they've- you've already lost all that time and all those people and everything that they did to you over that time, like... That you don't get it back. The- the stakes are so high that you can't come back from it. Well, this has been part two of Pillars of the Earth. You can check out the book if you want to. It's- Got the same name as the game, including the the whole Ken Follett's part. I actually have a copy of it. Just kind of sitting there waiting. Uh, I don't want to spoil the game for the sake of the playthrough, so I'm the give the the books just sort of waiting for me to read it one day at some point in the future. Instead, I'm gonna probably read Artemis next because I don't think they're gonna make a game based on Artemis, the <laughs> book that the guy that wrote The Martian made. Uh, See you guys next time, at some point in the future, hopefully within the year. I think the release schedule was always planned to be within the over the course of a year or so. Uh, so hopefully within early 2018-ish, we should see the final X number of chapters, probably approximately seven, judging by the pattern so far, of the Pillars of the Earth. And you can all talk, and then you that you all you that read the book can talk about all the stuff they changed slash I changed since I can technically make some decisions. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>